Mike and Maria Wolf couldn't believe they were in a hospital room at Columbus Children's Hospital watching their son struggle to live. For most of the first three months of Jason's life, his parents believed he was like any other newborn. He's a healthy, happy, normal, what we would consider normal baby. Yeah, never fussed, always happy. Took good naps, slept good at night. Yeah. Just perfect little baby. But as Jason grew, so did complications of undiagnosed primary pulmonary hypertension. In just a matter of days of showing symptoms, Jason was rushed to Children's and then placed on the lung transplant list. And the odds weren't real likely that he would even receive a donor in time. Um, it was just heartbreaking. Just beds away in critical care at Columbus Children's, two-month-old Kayla Richardson was waiting for a new heart. A congenital heart defect prevented the right side of her heart from developing. Despite interventional procedures and medications, Kayla's heart was giving out. She was hooked up to an ECMO machine to keep her alive, and so uh, they said that transplant was the only option. They knew very much so up front that there was a chance she may not even get a heart. Um, that's one of the things we tell all the families, that there are a lot of individuals that um, unfortunately do not get a donor heart and then die waiting. For both babies, time was running out. Jason's family had already decided they would donate their son's healthy heart if the worst happened. He probably had just hours to, at the most days left uh, to survive. Both Jason's and Kayla's families shared so much. A waiting room, hope for transplant, and a struggle of faith. We both agreed that, you know, that's not something we could pray for because that's wishing tragedy on somebody else's baby and that's not something that we could ever hope for but one of the nurses told us what to pray for was to give that family the strength to make the decision if something did happen. Hundreds of miles away a family was making the choice to donate the heart and lungs from an infant. Their gift would prove to be a perfect match for Jason and in a twist provide hope for Kayla. Columbus Children's Heart Surgeon Mark Alantowitz met with Jason's parents to explain a rare and unique procedure called a domino transplant and to ask a simple question. Would they be willing to donate Jason's heart for another patient? Um, and another patient that they may, they would know because it's a small unit and it's, it's all, uh, everybody's right next to each other. They were incredibly gracious and um, very willing to be part of the domino uh, transplant procedure. We then also had to talk to baby Kayla's family and uh, be sure that they were comfortable uh, and understood um, that the heart that they would be receiving uh, was a good heart and would be able to save Kayla's life. As team members prepared for surgery, children's heart surgeons, Dr. Alistair Phillips and Dr. Terry Davis, boarded a plane for the donor zone. Everybody knows what has happened, and you can feel it when you walk in. You're a group of many people in scrub clothes with a cooler, and almost everybody already knows the story of the donor and the sadness. When you walk into the recipient hospital, the atmosphere is palpably different and just pretty much the opposite. And it's anticipation, it's hope, it's uh, you know, uh, everything that is looking toward a day being better tomorrow. Once the procurement team returns to Children's, what follows next is two surgeries lasting 12 hours in side-by-side -side operating rooms. Transplant teams worked in tandem, taking advantage of extraordinary circumstances. Two children were in need of transplants in the same hospital of similar size with appropriate blood types for all this to work. Um, and so it, it is really quite a rare event because everything has to fall into place. And in this case, it did. Surgeons at Columbus Children's Hospital took the heart and lungs from the donor and put both into Jason. For technical reasons for baby Jason, a heart double lung transplantation was a better solution for his disease, even though his disease was primarily the lungs. Then they took Jason's healthy heart and gave it to Kayla, creating the domino transplant. We give the doctors all the credit for all their skill and ability. 
but there are just so many things that fell into place that we just feel that, you know, there are so many miracles that happened during this whole process. Both babies got what they needed and became the youngest babies ever to give and receive a living heart. Without use of this domino transplant, most likely a Kayla would not have had an opportunity to get a transplant and most likely would not have survived. I think it, it shows that it's a viable option and uh, hopefully, you know, it will uh, help get more uh, donors and an understanding that transplantation is an, a very viable and it has a benefit to mul many patients. Columbus Children's is just one of five pediatric centers in the country with the capabilities and staff to conduct a domino transplant. Heart Center co-director Dr. Timothy Feltis says providing world-class care here at home is the mission of the Children's Heart Center. Well, we're being acknowledged um, throughout the country and in fact the world as a clinical leader in cardiac surgery and pediatric cardiology. Transplant donors usually remain anonymous, but in this unique case, both families share a lifelong bond. I'm close to Kayla because she's my daughter, but I also feel close to Jason too because it feels like we're so connected now. Oh, it's all right. They also share the dream of a future with their children. But at this point, we're just so excited that he even has a future that whatever future he has, we'll just cherish every day. I just hope that she can just live a normal life and go to school and do what she, whatever she wants to do. To see the children right now smiling and looking at mom and dad, and um, that's really the miracle of transplantation.